What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibur here for T3G and today we're going to do a quick review of Independence Day Resurgence. First and foremost, I think the movie was really fun. I think it definitely is a summer blockbuster, front to back. It even almost plays just like the first one, which is one of my favorite kind of action summary movies. And I think for the most part, the graphics are perfect. Um, there are a couple spots that could have used some more polish, but other than that, I think the visuals overall are pretty stunning. Acting, I would give acting like a C grade. Average, you know, everyone did their jobs. I don't think anyone really like showed out. I think Jeff Goldblum played Jeff Goldblum at this point. Um, it was very interesting to see Robert Loja in this as a feature uh, before uh, his passing. And all of the returning cast kind of really had great cameos uh, and one key major point. Uh, so I thought that was really cool. There's a, a huge throwback to one of the the, the original scenes, so a couple of the original scenes, uh, and some of the lines are almost verbatim, uh, which gives you a nice sense of nostalgia, but at the same time, it's a new delivery, new actor, that kind of stuff. Uh, if I was to compare this to the original, I would say the original is just a little bit better. Um, if, if for nothing else than the acting, uh, I think this is definitely a quintessential 90s sequel. Uh, I think you couldn't have, logistically, in the movie, in the story, you couldn't have executed this movie as a sequel then. Um, it would have just been a repeat, but just an even longer long shot. Whereas I think in this one, you know, there there is the logistics aspect of we've had 20 years to prepare... You know, we've, we've done all this work, all this research, we've put together all this new technology, and it's one of those things that is it still good enough. So I think that's kind of a big element of this film. I would say this is definitely worth a movie theater watch. Um, maybe not necessarily full price, but that's just me being really, really picky on as far as what I would pay full price for. Uh, I think personally for me, since I'm a huge fan of the original, this is definitely worth the full ticket price for me. I think generally speaking, um, I really can't say there's better movies, but I think if you're going to pay for a summer blockbuster, I would rather go see, I would rather have you go see World of War, I'm sorry, World of Warcraft, Warcraft as a film. Uh, if, uh, if you're if, if you're if you don't have a favorite between sci-fi or fantasy, I think if you're gonna have you if you're more of a sci-fi fan, definitely Independence Day. But Warcraft, I think, is the better film of the two. Or Turtles, if it's still in theaters, I think I think it still is. Alternatively, you could always wait for a second run or you know Netflix DVD Blu-ray release that kind of stuff. Uh, they set up a a sequel in a good way. I think they give us kind of a a really nice step forward into the next the next segment of this universe and I think they could either go a sequel route or a TV series route and I think I would personally be happy with either or I would really I mean I really like the universe so I'd love to see where they take it from here and kinda how they get into more shenanigans overall uh, I would say definitely two thumbs up for myself uh, you know, two out of three guys, um, I don't even know how we're rating them. I think we're rating them out of ten, so I would give this uh, a solid eight. Yeah, I mean, I think the fact that it's a summer blockbuster, a summer kind of extravaganza, uh, end-of-the-world kind of movie, uh, it has a lot of the echoes of the X-Men film as far as, like, the end-of-the-world kind of scenarios. Yeah, I would say definitely, like, a seven and a half, eight. See, yeah, I've, I've already reduced my rating. <laughs> As they can't, they can't bode well, right? No, I think it's, a, I think it's a great film. I think you should go see it. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it basically. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop, drop a comment down below if you liked it, didn't like it, what your thoughts were on it, what you would rather see this summer, aside from uh, Independence Day. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.